Hi, this is Dr. Ben Johnson again, and thank you for joining me on another episode. Uh, today we are talking about vellus hairs. So vellus hairs are that peach fuzz hair that we all have on our face. It's part of your natural anatomy. And the question really is, can they become coarser and darker and and is there anything we can do about it and what what protocols would be good for it uh, so let's jump right in the first thing you need to understand about the vellus hair system is its genetics so you already have sort of this pre-programmed level of these light hairs uh, growing on your skin and to that level you're not going to adjust that so if you're Persian or if you're an ethnicity that tends to have um, longer darker more obvious vellus hair then obviously what I'm about to tell you has less impact but so many of us are actually experiencing changes to our vellus hair that this topic is actually really important to understand so what's going on out there today is we are being exposed to something called xenoestrogens on a daily basis. And what these are are estrogenic toxins, meaning they are not estrogen being put into our system, but in fact a chemical that resembles estrogen enough that your system will stop making its own estrogen. So if you can imagine you have estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone all in balance with your remarkable system that, that micro doses and follows your hormones very, very carefully. But then all of a sudden with a huge onslaught of these estrogen chemicals in your system, your body will now make less estrogen. That by default makes progesterone and testosterone high, high compared to estrogen. This will lead to fertility issues. This leads to menstrual cycle irregularities. This can also lead to acne. But most importantly, in this conversation, it leads to coarser, darker hairs. So that soft, light, blonde, vellus hair, that peach fuzz, progressively gets coarser, progressively gets darker, and gets more numerous. And this is all about the fact that that testosterone is not being overproduced by your system. It is simply, does, it just doesn't have the balancing estrogen component to keep things right on track. Both of these guys are working on your hair follicle at the same time, if you can imagine that. So, how do we address this problem? Well, uh, there are ingredients out there like diendol methane, also known as DIM, uh, sodium thiol sulfate, activated charcoal, and a few others that I've found that are effective at pulling these estrogen chemicals out of the system and restabilizing your hormone balance. This will neutralize the darkening, coarsening increase in volume that you've been seeing and potentially you can see some correction in that regard. In other words, the hairs actually modify themselves and, and shrink back a little bit. However, if they do reach that zone where they are truly like a male facial hair, like part of a male beard, where they're really coarse and dark. Unfortunately, laser hair removal or electrolysis are the only two options that are gonna uh, reverse that hair in almost every case. So what I recommend for you is not to worry so much about the treatments you're doing. Let's say you're using some sort of blading procedure to clip the hairs on a monthly basis for some of your clients. Um, I see no evidence that that will actually make the hairs coarser and darker. Um, so that's something you can keep doing. But if you don't immediately start addressing that estrogen lack, that imbalance that's created by these uh, hormone toxins, then those hairs will only get worse and darker and thicker and then it gets to that point of no return. So I hope you heed this advice and help your patients with this really challenging problem. Thank you.